Warp drive active. <laughs> Hello my friends and welcome back to EVE Online with me Mark from Dadex and today we're going to do another level 4 mission but it's the Anomic Team Burner mission. In this mission we need to take down a Hawk accompanied by a pair of Lodgy Bantams and we're going to rep him. The rewards are pretty good combined about 9 million for the ISK and the LP. We're going to try a slightly different approach to the one you may usually see on these missions in that we're going to go for cheap Kestrels, potentially two. First of all, we're going to go in with one and just kind of have a look at what's going on because we've done no research for this mission. All we know is um, I've seen a Kestrel recommended on the EVE Uni page and we couldn't see a fit of any kind and that you need to kite it. So that's the plan. I've given the mission briefing to Yepfar who's built a ship based on nothing more than he knows they're going to be doing Scourge ammo. They're very fast. He's shooting rockets and they're going to try to web scram him. So he has built this ship based on nothing more than that spec. And on top of that, I gave him a 10 minute time limit, which is the last thing any one of you fit twiddlers likes to hear as well you know. So we'll start with the rigs, why not A? Eh? We've got a Tech 2 Warhead Flare Catalyst. That increases the explosion velocity by 20%. We've got one Tech 1 Shield Extender. And we have a Tech 2 Ancillary Current Router, which gives us 15% more power grid, which we need. More about that later. In the high slots, we've got four Tech 2 Light Missile Launchers. We're going to go over Rage Ammo, hence the boost to application in the rig. We've got a 44 kilometer range, and we're getting just shy of 100 DPS. Now, not knowing the site, he's gone for a nice bit of tank on here. And in fact, because of CPU more than anything else, we stuck a Kaldari Kinetic Hardener on there. If you're going to land right on top of the rats, you're likely to take some damage before you can pull some range. That's a possibility with playing it safe. We've got the ECM unit right here, Compact Gravimetric ECM. We're going to jam the Lodgy, kill the Lodgy, and then try and kill the Hawk. That is the tactic for this run. We have a compact micro warp drive in the middle also. We need to be keeping that burning. We're cap stable. That's good. Down in the bottom slots, we've got one nanofiber internal structure to speed us up and make us a little bit more agile. And one ballistic control system tech two to up the DPS. That realistically is going to cost about 29 million to build if you buy it all straight from Doe Dixie. But we'll have a look at the fit once we've run the site and we can tweak it as appropriate. My Kestrel does not have an ECM unit. I'm going to turn up. As soon as I can once he's into the site with a target painter that's going to increase the application we'll just see how we get on we'll certainly know after one run the main thing is for now not to lose the ship I'm just sat here while waiting for him admiring the reflections of these new graphics on the pod I do like them always nice to see a little upgrade but of course substance must always come before presentation so that is the plan he has arrived so i shall hand over to him he's going to go into the room i'm going to go and pick up my kestrel as i said with the target painter rather than the ecm and hopefully combined we can take these down but he's going to get in there get settled in give me a bit of feedback let's see what he finds the very first thing to note is they are not on his overview so he needs to sort that out shows how often he runs mission the game just registered a zero point hit of damage from the Hawk there, which is a little bit strange. But anyway, he's got them locked up. He's putting them on his overview. That was a bit bizarre. Anyway, they're over there. We're in charge of the kiting, I hope. He hasn't got to worry about them being right on top of him from the off. That's important to know. It basically means if you can get into a maintainable kiting situation now, you don't really need any tank because they're not going to hit you. So he's settling down. He's going to orbit on the Hawk. Do not set your orbit on any of the other ships. Focus on the Hawk. That's the one you want to avoid. So right now he's hitting one Bantam with his missile fire. He's got the ECM on the other Bantam. You can see the dull icon underneath it. And you're waiting for that icon to go solid. That means he's actually jamming that Bantam so it can't rep the other Bantam. And as you can see, the Bantam is easily tanking with the remote reps he's getting. The damage that we're getting on. Obviously this is with one Kestrel. The other is on the way. Now you can see the ECM has gone solid. We're jamming the reps from one Bantam to the other and he overheats but he doesn't manage to apply enough damage anywhere near to break it. 
it is of course very vital to remember that the thing you are jamming with your ECM can still target you. That is something you have to remember. It's a game changer from about a year ago now. When you're jamming something, it can still lock you. ECM drones, on the other hand, will protect you because it's them doing the jamming, so they can still be locked, but you can't be. Anyway, the whole team's here now, so I guess the full run starts now, really. No impact has been made on the rats so far. He has dragged them away, so I'm going to go just approach straight over there. Get into my range, start kiting myself. I brought Kaldari Navy ammo. I'm sure it's going to apply better than Rage, but here we go, we can have an experiment. Yep, Far for the record does have better skills than the ult I'm using, Pine Ridge. Yep, Far's got level 5 in every skill relevant here. Pine is on about level 4 for most of them, apart from Frigate, which is 5. He also had to grab a 3% power grid implant to use this fit, but that's okay, he needed one of those for another ship. Anyway, while we're on the subject of Kestrels, this is a bit of footage I've never used before. This is a Kestrel on the hunt. It is my only ever in years of playing EVE PvE tie. I'm dead. He's dead. I'm a little bit confused when this first happens, but I do switch my overview. My wreck, his wreck. I come back and get the loot. But have you ever had a tie in PvE in EVE? Let me know. An absolute dead heat. You both die. I did, of course, go back and finish the hunt last room in another Kestrel. It was a bit of a fight, but we made it anyway. Back to the business at hand. We're basically still waiting for that ECM roll to break the reps onto this Bantam so we can kill him. Now, if you're in a ship with enough DPS or you've got enough combined DPS, you can just tear straight into the Hawk. We'll talk about fits or where you might find them to do such things later, but you're going to spend a lot more money but I'm about to have a very lucky moment on this run here. I turn back towards the rats because I'm drifting out of range. And I lose track of where the hawk's going and he turns back towards me. And if you just watch how quickly he gets his web and scram on me, I try to turn away. It's too late. At this moment, I think I'm probably going to die. Luckily, I have a friend with me. And just as I think I'm moments from death, quite literally, the hawk switches aggro to him and I got away with it. A secondary advantage of having a target painter on your ship, I'm just going to mention it now, is it helps you really keep a very good idea in your head of the bearing back towards the rat. So if you want to get closer or further away, you can use your target painter really as a bit of a compass on screen. An additional aid. Now one of the problems that the rats are giving us, particularly Dex trying to ECM and shoot, is that they're not staying very close together, they're really spreading out. So he's not getting the best rolls on his ECM, but you can see now he's finally got his ECM on. We're getting some damage on the guy. Finally, we have broken the rep chain. He is going down. Once we've killed this Bantam, there's nothing to rep the second Bantam. Well, he may have some reps of his own, and it should all speed up. We've both overheated to take advantage of this situation, and I have my missile launchers heated in the end to 98% damage and Dexter gets his to 96 so we cut it pretty fine just to speed this up. That amount of overheating isn't necessary. Unfortunately he has only got rage ammo with him and he's not getting the best damage. Blow for blow he's actually getting about 30 to 35% less damage than me with the rage. A timely reminder that those big numbers on the fit screen do not always tell the full story. Anyway, we've one Bantam left and no one to remote rep him. This guy's going to go down pretty quick. And then it's just on to the main course, the Hawk. So everything focused on this Bantam. Time for a quick screenshot. You can see what I mean about the target painter really well there. The rat is right there. <laughs> you could try a ship with higher DPS than the Kestrel well or Kestrel with a more higher DPS fit and maybe a Griffin. Griffin would probably shut down the Lodgy completely from the off. Might be worth a try one day. Anyway we've almost killed that last Bantam. He just goes out of my range just before he dies but I think I'll get back on there just to finish him off. Yeah there he is and off he pops. Right now we've got the Hawk left. The tanky one. It took about five minutes in real time to take down that first Bantam. 
it's all going much more quickly now although this is still a very tanky ship i have heard tell that if you just want to go for this ship while it's being lodged you're going to need probably about 190 to 200 dps if we were both firing Kaldari Navy ammo, our fit screens would be telling us that combined we were getting about 165, I think, somewhere around there. As I said, yet yeah, is stuck with rage. We can actually compare the hits I'm getting compared to what he's getting at this stage of the fight. And I'm getting about 50 hit points of damage of each salvo more than he is. So he'll remember the Navy ammo next time, won't he? But we are getting the job done and that is the main thing we will improve next time onwards and upwards definitely with two of you just running ecm so two kestrels maybe with an ecm and a painter each doubling your chance to let ecm roll that first bantam goes down much more quickly and we'll have a look at a sort of version two fit when we get back to the hangar but this guy is going down i switched to ray jammer right here right at the end and you can actually see if you want to keep track or have a look back up. My damage drops from about 145 a salvo to about 82 a salvo. I keep going on about this just so that he does remember the Navy ammo next time. I hope you realise that. Father, son, mind games are the best kind by far. Anyway, we've just about got through this guy's tank. His shield is gone. He'll be pretty flimsy about it. There you go. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Not much left of that hawk at all. Now these can drop quite nice loot, I believe. There he goes, he's gone. Mission accomplished by mission noobs in Kestrels. Anyway, let's see what the loot fairy's given us. We get quite a good reward in loyalty points and ISK off of this mission anyway. Combined it's about 10 mil and I've not trained up security connections. You could get more LP out of this mission if you have. Nothing of note in there at all. I might grab a couple of useful bits. You never know. No, what a load of rubbish. We'll have that just as a souvenir. Now, if you like the idea of running one of these sites just by yourself in a ship, that can do it all. I'm going to direct you to a colleague in the realm of Eve YouTube, a channel called Hateless Gaming. He's made a nice video with a Gamur on one of these sites. I think with the price changes recently, That's that Gamur right. fit's That's probably going to come in at about 175 million, maybe a little bit more. That is an alternative. His channel concentrates on level 4 missions in general. He also streams. He goes for the very high-end, quick, blitzy, maximum isk per hour running style. Almost the other end of the spectrum to what you're getting right here of us two clattering around like this, learning our way. And I'm going to link to his Gamer video down below. I do recommend his content. He knows what he's talking about. He explains it well, so fair dues to him. And there's no point in me making a video that's already been made as far as I'm concerned. Talking of other content creators, I would like to also mention Eventon, who I think we are going to be doing some kind of co-mining interview video thing. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. He's got some very interesting ideas. I think he's been previously quite involved or very knowledgeable in, in the world of Warcraft kind of community. And he's bringing some new ideas to e-video making, which is always good. And I couldn't talk about other content creators without mentioning me old mate Aceface, who loves his bling. Again, he likes to get his big expensive ships out running stuff very quickly. Those guys also do some very new bro friendly content. So yeah, links down below. And I have to mention another limey, StrangeNet. He covers Eve with 16 years experience okay. looking at the industrial kind of financial side of things. Which I don't worry about too much anymore. Too much stress for me. I do enough of that at work. But if you want to get a view on what's going on industry and market wise. Check him out. What I love about the content creators there are in EVE. Is that we all kind of do our own thing. Even if we're covering the same topic. There are so many different attitudes, budgets, um, goals. To be explored in our videos. That it, we, all, we can all get along very nicely. I don't think anyone's come my competition. I just do my thing. And they do layers, it's all cool. Anyway, enough about that. We might want to talk about giveaways now. I've kept you waiting. There are the six winners from the last giveaway. Well done then. Thank you very much, all of you, for your contributions. This time around, again, comments with an in-game name, please. I'd like to know, again, how you're getting on with these missions. Have you ever tried it with a griffin? 
Anything relevant? Have you tried this out? Did you ever try ECM in EVE ever? Did you ever get caught out because you thought the ECM would protect you only to find out it did not? I think with the next appropriate mission run we'll have another look at Logi. We've got a couple of cap exchanging Ospreys which we want to demonstrate. I'm not sure there'll be a necessity on the site. That Navy issue Drake with a Tech 2 Hams is looking very good. I'm certainly getting my eye in with that one. So we're just going to dock up. Somebody did ask in one of the comments to one of the videos about sharing the reward. There you are. If you're in a fleet, you choose whether to share the mission reward evenly with up to 10 members of your fleet. So that's entirely up to you. I'll leave it up to your conscience. But that can be done right there. And let's see, shall we, what is the next mission up? Might be something interesting. It is Serpentis Extravaganza. I've not done that one before. I remember Angel's Extravaganza being quite one of the bigger missions. Let me know. There's another thing you can comment about down below. Here is a fit I've worked on since we've got back. It's removed most of the tank. There's a little bit just in case. Um, but also because there's not enough CPU left on the hull to fit much else. This is one ECM, one target painter, same damage arrangement. In the rigs here I've gone for one flare catalyst, one rigger catalyst. They're going to improve the application, the explosion radius and the explosion velocity. One kinetic hardener. We've got just a small shield extender just as I say, just to go on the fit. Couldn't leave anything empty. We're not cap stable with this fit, but it's time you probably learnt to manage not being cap stable. I think you could probably take turns between the two of you with the target painter running on the target rats. That would be an easy way of managing that situation and keep the ECM running at all time. And right here, Indo Dixie, that fit is coming in just under 12 million. So there you go, two of those, 24 million. You can run the Anomic Team Burner mission, have a little bit of a laugh with your mate play with a little bit of ecm and if something does go horribly wrong and there's always a possibility it could it won't be that big of a deal so please leave us a like down below if you've liked it found this enjoyable entertaining and or informative comments for the giveaway subscribe if you want to stay in touch but remember look after yourselves and each other have fun fly brave and for now my friends goodbye